In the places where we live openly and proud, like Midtown and Downtown, we defeated Proposition 8 overwhelmingly. It is in the rest of California, where we, too many of us, live in shame, that we have expected voters to rise above our own shame. We have to step forward first and make it clear that we are living our own lives with dignity and demand the equality and live with the equality that we deserve. So we have power. If we have to figure out a day, uh, many of you saw the movie, A Day Without a Mexican, if we have to have a day without homos to show California what it would be like in this state without us, then we will. So when we're done here, I'm gonna update my, my Facebook status too um, about how successful and powerful and moving this rally was, but it cannot stop today. Rosa Parks didn't get off the bus to a swarm of people offering her full equality. Housing discrimination got put into the state constitution before it got taken out. In my own community, in the Filipino-American community, we're still fighting 50 years later for justice for Filipino veterans. This is not a one-day fight, a one-week fight, a one-year fight. We have to keep stepping up. But no longer is this just about incremental rights. This year it's about uh, visitation. Next year it's about uh, tax returns. No. We raised the stakes on Tuesday. The voters of California raised the stakes on Tuesday. The battle has now been joined, and our collective purpose today has to be nothing less than full, absolute, and total equality now. Thank you.